Conserve habitats and protect organisms developed the Sargasm Snatch Innovation Competition to utilize the collected sargasm and use it sustainably and innovatively. With 15 submissions, three prototypes advanced to the finals. Chapa representative Sarita Mahabir explained the threat posed by sargasm. Sargasm, when it comes to our shores, causes a lot of disturbances to our natural shoreline habitats, can disrupt turtle nesting, amongst other things. It also disrupts the ecotourism and just recreational use of our beaches. It in decomposing, sargassum lets off hydrogen sulfide gas, which is very um, unpleasant to persons trying to use beaches recreationally. The three finalists were recognized for finding approaches to the challenge. In first place was Navita Passard, who shared on how her prototype works. Okay, so the idea of my prototype is, was to use barrels, and it was given a suggestion to me, like one of the suggestions that I got, and I find the barrel was the best because it would have collected more than the other options. In second place, Jaden Ford shared on the genesis of his idea, which was born from observing pool cleaners. My design is essentially two scoops on each side of the boat, and they have a mechanism that could rotate the sargasm and anything it collects inside of a net located in the boats. In third place, Carissa Floyd aimed to create a prototype that used less energy and resources, unlike the ones already in use that cost much to operate. My prototype consists of two nets that um, are situated on either side of the vessel and it's meant to collect the sargassum floating in the ocean with as minimal effort as possible. Um, I really came up with this idea from doing my research into into devices that already exist and seeing how I could create something that was not mechanized. The event on Sunday not only featured the competition, projects that could transform sargasm from an environmental burden into an economic opportunity were also explored. Faith Chariot, TTT News.